Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to a new episode of Casual Gaming. This is the Chilean Retro Gamer, and today I'm gonna be playing Secrets of the Seas Flying Dutchman Collector's Edition on the PC. Remember that I am going to be playing the Collector's Edition basically for me to have access to the bonus content, uh, which is basically a bonus chapter uh, that can be played after you beat the actual game, the, the main game. So, uh, I'm gonna change my profile. Create one and call it retro. Simple as that. Done. And we have casual with hints, no penalties. Active areas are highlighted. With hints, penalties, active areas aren't highlighted for advanced and hard. No hints. With penalties, uh, active areas aren't highlighted. I'm gonna play uh, on casual, of course, because that's how casual games work for the most part. Since never played it either, I wouldn't like to get stuck. Land at last. How long has it taken me to get here? I hadn't seen my old friend Michael in ages, and then I received his letter. What is that? Is it? where Michael is? There is something weird with the uh, with guy's voice, but the intro cutscene in general was uh, pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Would you like some interactive help? No, because I know how this works in general. Uh, what do we have here? These leaves might hide something valuable. This is the handle from some gardening tool. The door is locked, I need a key to open it. And we have this. There's some animal at the bottom, there's something in the bucket, but I cannot reach it. And we have a hidden object game activated. Probably that's what it means by highlighted, but in that case I would prefer this instead of playing on advanced level. So I'm gonna find an anchor, an arrow, a carrot, a dragonfly, a needle that requires further interaction, same thing with the water, pump grenades, pretzel, rapier, shears, two ships, spyglass, and water. As I said before. Yeah, rapier is a sword, basically. I play this first hidden of the game, so pretty much I know where everything is. Here is the needle that requires further interaction. In the case of the water, it's kind of strange because you have to pick this up, put H2O on the bottle itself, and then pick it up. Would have been easier to pick up the bottle from the very beginning. Well, doesn't matter. That was the pump grenades. That's the carrots. Here we have the arrow. Dragonfly. Pretzel spree, obvious and big. Spyglass. And looks more like a telescope to me. I don't know. Two ships, that here's one, and the other one is on the other corner. And shears, speaking of corners, are right here. And then after you find all of these objects, you have to find a final object, uh, which is kind of different from other hidden object games I have played. Winch. Which is basically a handle. So, uh, you're gonna use the winch here. I played just a little bit of this game, so that's why I'm going fast through this particular part. And I rescue a guy here, who is apparently the one that's gonna give me the hints. I assume. Okay, gonna read that, and yeah, it's gonna load. Auction. Michael's house is sold by auction. Uh, Michael lost all his property at cards to the owner of the inn. The auction will take place on Friday. And I found a useful thing, cloth, which I didn't even pay attention to, but I saw the hand, so there you go. Uh, we have this. 
I will not touch it, uh, this dirty key. Well, let's use the cloth. And we found the key that we need in order to get inside Michael's house, I assume. So let's go. Alright, now the game is gonna be blind to me. I think I made more progress than this. Hello, Mr. Apple. I cannot read this uh, without a second part of the notes. Oh yeah, unlike other hidden object games, this one doesn't have journals. I, I don't know, I like journals for this kind of things. Uh, I guess there is a hiding place under these planks. The lock went open, I need to break the chains. And I found a rake head. I know how to use it. What a weird lock. I need to find the missing piece to open it. And here we have again the weird locks again. Kind of typical on these hidden object games. The stove is burning hot, uh, but there is nothing to eat here. And where is the pot? Apparently I need to find it. It seems like Michael tried to go in for art, but he hadn't enough money for the brushes and the oil paints. Okay, the message is gonna be the same all the time. So let's go back and let's use the rig head for the stick. It's not recognizing it. Ah, oh, there we go. And I guess I have to use the rig for this particular part because there's something hidden. Makes sense. What is this? Shears again. How can I use the shears? I can use the hint if I want, but I assume I have to break the chains with this. Yeah, makes sense. And that's uh, the other half of the notes. Oh yeah, gotta use it here. Dear friend, I guess it's referring to me, or to the character rather. I am so sorry that I didn't meet you in the port. Everything has changed his since our last meeting. I lost all my inheritance, and I then I tempted my fate at cards, but I lost. What a fool I am. Yeah, what a piece of shit you are. But I still have a chance to win it all back. A captain arrived in our town. They say he loves to play dice. I don't need any money to play with him. He will reward a man who would beat him. I need to win this time. I will wait for you in the inn near the port, Michael. I know where your friend is. His luck ran out, and he's with us now, for good. So a fucking ghost appeared. And apparently Michael is now controlled by the evil! He's going in that direction, I assume, and now I can go there. Oh, the MP attention to this. There is something in the sack. I could cut it with something sharp. I don't have anything, so... I'm not a long jump champion, so I need to cover this puddle with something. What? Wait a minute. There's nothing to... PH here anymore? Pillage? How about inside? Oh! So what's the point of the jackets? I wonder. Let's cover it with the jacket. And now I can go on. What do we have here? Gargoyle? No, it looks even uglier. I think the water from the fountain is suitable for cooking. But I don't have any bottle. Oh! Are you Michael? Poor Michael, he's so exhausted that he, he cannot say a word. I need to feed him. So I need water. That's the kettle. Uh, what do we have here? Doors are locked. I need to pay the little extortionist so I gotta fill the kettle with water
and go back to Michael's house and put this here. It would make sense. Michael's starving, I need to cook something. Okay, I'm going to stop this here. Next time I'm going to keep making progress on this interesting game so far. So yeah, I'll see you later.